But this looks awesome. I love it. And she should get another tattoo. 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 <laughs> Hey guys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Hampton Falls Part 6. Happy Hampton Tea Time! Cheers you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. Just as a reminder, these parts have been pre-recorded because I am currently in America, in New York and Boston. So if you guys want to keep up with my travels, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll be keeping you guys all updated there. Also be sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated every single part. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay, so we are back at uh, the Harris's house. I feel like I come back to this house a lot because I love Crystal so much as a character. And I know a lot of you guys are really warming up to Crystal. I actually just got all of your comments from the first part, which was published yesterday, because of course I have been pre-recording this series. And I was so excited that you guys liked it. So thank you so much for your beautiful comments. Um, it just makes it so much more fun sharing it with you guys. Now I have got a few things added in here. We were having trouble having teens have a relationship with older adult sims, which of course My is <laughs> taboo and um, naughty Elfin. and not oh. something I'd recommend, but um, and illegal ah. in most cases. But I decided to enable that with the command center mod so we can get more of a juicy storyline. <laughs> um, I also have a smoking mod installed in case these girls are going to get a little bit rebellious. Um, I personally am not a smoker, but I think for the purpose of storytelling, it's just a little bit of fun for juiciness. And Colt, oh my God, I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date and get some dinner? <gasps> she didn't answer his call. She's, Crystal's probably felt really weird since his mom like got really angry at her and kicked her out of his house. They had such a nice date though. I feel like... Crystal's the kind of person to run away from problems and not like, you know, talking to the person and dealing with stuff. <laughs> She'd rather just kind of ignore him. I think she really likes him. But the other thing is he's kind of been setting up with Emmy um, from the Mikitani oh. family. So I don't know. I don't know. And oh my gosh, talk <laughs> about family time on a Sunday. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and the mum has so much anger management issues. She's just over here doing her yoga. We do a lot of yoga in this Let's Play. I love this wellness skill. It's being embraced in this town. I mean, there's a lot of stress in this town. I mean, Allison here, she's got a, you know, debrief. Oh, wow, that red is definitely adding up quickly. Uh, also, Joel over here, we still need to focus oh, a little bit more on yeah. his character because we're not yeah. really sure what he's doing with his life. But he did meet up with a random guy in a park, which I feel like we're going to include Bartleby. Bartleby oh. in the storyline, so that should be interesting. Ooh, and his spouse <laughs> is Constance, the really fancy That's looking cool. lady. Ooh, I like these characters. Anyway, I think usually Sunday night is family night, but uh, Crystal <laughs> is going to sneak out, I think. She's just gonna leave the house and her parents would probably just hear the door slam and be like, Crystal, where has she gone? So let's go out and I'm thinking we go to the tattoo parlor, parlor and instead of getting a tattoo we'll get piercing though so it's like a tattoo and piercing parlor. You guys were making fun of me because apparently my accent makes me sound like I say tattoo as to do, like a tattoo, not a tattoo. So guys, that is so mean. Also a lot of you guys really want... Um, Crystal to maybe explore females as well as males. Of course, she's been hooking up with Colt, but um, a lot of you guys thought that she'd be really good with Ellie, so I thought that was kind of cool. How about we invite Patience and Akira, because Akira we were pretty close to actually. Like, Akira was so nice to Crystal, he really helped her feel a little bit better when she was so upset at his house and crying in the wardrobe. He's just such a nice guy, so I feel like we'll invite him. But this is like a seedy looking tattoo parlor here. I just downloaded it off the gallery and I thought it looked perfect. It is late at night. It's like 9.30 at night. Um, maybe she was trying to like oh, convince oh, patients to get a tattoo. A tattoo, not a to-do. <laughs> um, why didn't we invite? We should have uh, invited Ellie too. Oh, he's gone straight in. He is keen as a bean. I mean, of course, tattoo parlors 
don't really work in The Sims, but we can pretend, we can pretend. And let's get her to get some piercings because um, I did get some what? piercings in the game. Uh, so we are having a little bit of fun with some mods and custom content. I just love it for storytelling purposes. And right Wait, now the oh. mods and custom <laughs> content are really good for spicing up the game. I'm enjoying it a lot um, for someone who's not usually into that stuff at all. Now let's see if any of these pierce piercings are here. Okay, so we do have some piercings. Um, what should we get? I feel like she wouldn't, she would get a few. I know in our parenthood let's play, we did the nose piercing, but these? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <gasps> we should get several of these. I can't believe that actually fits on her ear. Oh my gosh. What is it called when you get pierced here? I forgot what that called, what that is called, but it looks really, really painful. I am her, uh, in my opinion. Is it this one? There we go. So we can get a couple of piercings. Oh my gosh. She's looking like the crystal in my head. I really, really like it. Can we get anything else on this ear? Okay, we can get a second piercing next to her hoop earring, which is pretty cool. Uh, which means we can also get second piercings on both sides. Oh, what? We can only get it on one side? Hold on. Is this double ear? Yeah, that's double ear. I think we should get the slightly smaller one. Oh my god, she's got so many piercings now! This would have been painful getting all of these at once. And I mean, I really wanted a lip piercing, but I think there's a lot of issues with the bigger lips on these Sims, and I've made a lot of their lips a bit bigger. Wow, she looks so cool! And I like how they're, they're not too far from the game graphics. The nose piercings can be a little bit iffy for the game graphics. I mean, they're not too bad. I don't... I feel like she would have like a little nose piercing, but I don't think she would have... Oh my gosh, she could have like double nose piercings. Damn, that is kind of cool. That is really cool. I don't think she'll have like a full on circle piercing there. I feel like that's something maybe Akira would get. But this looks awesome. I love it. And she should get another tattoo. 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 <laughs> the blossom's kind of nice with the bird. Is that the kind of thing she'd get as a teen though? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. She got a tattoo and her ears pierced. I personally think she looks awesome. I think she looks so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's let's keep it like that. I think she looks amazing. And let's get Akira to get a nose piercing because I, I think he'll look so good. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. For someone who doesn't have any piercings, I don't even have my ears pierced. I really like piercings. Okay, let's maybe bring her out over here and she can show off to these guys and uh, rave about growing up maybe. She can be like, guys, look how awesome my ears look. She looks so good. Damn. I mean, it's a lot of black holes on the one ear, maybe. But hey, for now it's kind of cute. Maybe we overdid it, but I got excited. Oh, oh, he's going over to the mirror. Okay, let's swap to his perspective. Okay, let's get Akira to now get his nose piercing. Because I think he'll look cool with a nose piercing. And I can see him as the type of guy to, you know, he loves aesthetics. He loves being a little bit edgy. So I feel like piercings completely make sense with him. Also, I never thought about giving him lashes. But that could kind of be cool too. Maybe we won't do lashes right now. Uh, probably for every day he might not do the lashes, I think. Okay, where are these piercings? Over here. All right, let's see. Like, hopefully they fit his nose. Oh my gosh, it's meant to be. It kind of fits his nose. <laughs> kind of. Okay, that one didn't fit too well. Although we can't really see the top of it. It's like hanging out of his nose. I'm going to put uh, Kaz full edit mode on so we can just give him a little bit of a nose change to make the piercing fit. Okay, there we go. I've just edited his nose a little bit. He does, unfortunately, have a smaller nose now, um, but we just needed to kind of change the nostrils a little bit so that ring fit in really nicely. And you know what? Just because I'm getting a little bit carried away, we might also give him uh, a couple of these bad boys too on either side. Actually, no, I think one side looks best. Let's, uh, ooh, should he go the same side as his nose piercing? Maybe the other to balance it out a bit, a little bit. Beautiful! He looks cool! I like him with a nose piercing. I feel like heaps of you guys in the comments would have preferred the septum piercing, but we can change it up a bit, so make sure you comment if you prefer the septum. 
Okay, and Emmy's here. She's probably, did she, did we invite Emmy? I feel like she followed us and was like, oh my God, he looks good. Ah, oh, gee. <laughs> I love it. He's so excited. His dad's going to be like, oh my God, what have you done? <laughs> and did the others already ditch him? Oh no, Crystal's over here playing a bit of basketball on a Sunday night. Uh, maybe he should give a compliment to Crystal and be like, thank you so much for like inviting me out. This has been like the most fun I've had in quite some time. Uh, so, you know, they're bonding. I think these guys are going to end up being best friends, Way both. which is pretty cool. Okay. And maybe, I mean, while we're here, maybe we should just challenge uh to a hoops competition maybe let's just have a little bit of fun and maybe emmy followed them in so and they've noticed emmy wanted to be a part of everything but because she's a bit of a goody two shoes maybe they're like oh we shouldn't have she shouldn't have followed us but hopefully she's not like a tattle tattle tale oh my gosh look at her little pink outfit that is so cute Let's see your outfits, everyone. Let's see them. Ooh, I love her outfit. She looks so good. Oh, and grubby. And I love how he has the galaxy pants. I did pick that for him because I was like, that looks so good. Uh, so this is kind of cute. These guys just hanging out. <laughs> it's like, yay, well done. Nice one, you guys. Moving back to the Harris household, I've left Crystal out and just decided that we would focus on her brother, Joel, just for a little while. And some of you guys were saying he should have an affair with one of the wives in the town, which I thought was kind of an awesome idea. I love that. I thought actually the perfect wife, um, ooh, actually I'm not sure. I was thinking of Cole or Tega, but maybe she's not really his type, I don't think. And we've already got something going on with Morgan. So maybe, I don't know. I thought it was kind of a cool idea. Maybe he should go for someone younger. I feel like that is pretty shady. Uh, so maybe he should invite one of the younger girls out to hang out with. Like, how's his relationships, actually? Like, Patience, he was pretty keen on. Ellie, he was pretty keen on. Uh, you know, maybe let's invite Patience over. And, I mean, Patience has been hanging out with Crystal tonight. So Patience is going to come home before Crystal. But Crystal's probably having a really great time with Akira. So that is kind of nice, um, but he should be like, hey, Patience, come around. So this is pretty bad because Patience is still in school and he's graduated. So it's a shady thing and it's not okay, but this is the kind of character he is. He's a shady kind of guy. And I also think that his Bartleby man may have given him something to set up his own company with. So I am going to move him out of this house, I think, to set up his own business. And you guys will see what that is soon. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of fun and a little bit of scandal. Did she not come? Is, was it too late? Patience is sleeping. Oh, that's so lame. Okay, well, fine. That's all right. Well, maybe we should uh, have Crystal... No, actually, that's okay. We'll let Crystal stay out a little bit longer. We'll get him to go to bed. Esther over here. Does Esther have any friends? I mean, Esther's really interesting because she's kind of got these friendships with Linda and Skye, who are more of like a punk aesthetic, who you would say maybe Crystal was better suited to. But I kind of like that, that Esther's being friends with more alternative girls. And you know what? You can't judge by appearance. Doesn't mean that they're like rebellious like Crystal. It's just their choice of how they present themselves. Okay, well, Esther can hop into bed then. And I feel like Esther would really want a cat. Esther should totally have a cat. And let's bring, uh, let's bring Crystal Harris back here. Girl's been out on the town. She's got all her piercings. What? Where are her piercings? Oh, no. Because it's only on one outfit. I mean, that's a good way to hide her piercings, I guess. She's only got them on this outfit. Damn. Okay, so we're just going to wear this outfit every single day. Yeah, there we go. There they are. I love how she just doesn't care. She just does whatever she wants. Uh, and you know what we should do? Because she was out again past curfew, I feel like her mom should definitely have punished her before she came home. And let's take a little bit of inspiration from Freaky Friday and take away her privilege of privacy. So in Freaky Friday, um, the mom takes away the door so she can't like slam her door anymore. <laughs> And I just think that's a great idea. So let's just put uh, move objects on. And there we go. We have removed her 
privacy privilege, a privilege to privacy. So let's get her to come back upstairs with all of her piercings done, feeling awesome about herself. Oh, the poor girl has a mouse in her room. And then she can be like, you know, walk into her room and go to slam the door and be like, uh, oh my God, where is my door? I think she's kind of in shock right now. She's like, oh my god okay now it's hit she's not happy she's going straight to her mom's room i feel like she should quickly put a t-shirt on or something because otherwise her mom's gonna like see her you know what she probably doesn't care uh no actually i feel awkward for her let's just quickly put a t-shirt on okay so she just quickly put a sweater on so that her mom won't see all of the damage she's done but she does still have those ear piercings i think so let's go over to here and wake up her parents she's gonna be like what the hell? Where is my door? She's going to absolutely lose it and be like, I'm moving out. I'm moving out. I hate you. Let's just make them have a really, really big fight. And her mom can be like, look, it is your, you know, you've decided to go against our word. You've been out and about oh. at ungodly hours. So we'll get Crystal to act a little bit tough. It's funny how they're going downstairs so they don't wake up the dad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And they can have like a full on fight down here. The mom's probably like, Crystal, stay calm. Like, mom, you can't just remove my door. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's um, mock outfit. Let's just go for everything right now. I mean, arguing, argue about the curfew. Of course, they're going to argue about that. She's like, Crystal, you have no idea how lucky you are. We provide a shelter. We provide good food and education for you. And you don't respect us at all. What do you, what you think we're going to do with you? Send you off to boarding school. Your sister has been no problem to us. Your brother has been absolutely pleasant. She's like, you have no idea about him. You don't even know your own son. And I feel like her mom's probably just realized the earrings. And she's like, Crystal, what have you done to your ears? She's probably like just expects this kind of thing now. Okay, I think what Crystal's going to do now is actually head over to Colt's house and sneak back into his bedroom, even though she was kicked out last time. Because I feel like she has like nowhere to go. I mean, she does have her friends, but we don't know where they live. So Crystal has now run off and snuck into Colt's bed in the early hours of the morning because she didn't want to be at home. She had a big fight with her mom. And I feel like Colt's the only guy that is really there for her. The only place she feels like she can go. But I think if we move out her brother to a new place, then at least she'll have his house to go to when things get a little bit tough and confusing at home for her. But I feel like she would probably really want to drop out of high school early and live in her own place and be independent because she's just not a happy chappy. She does not fit in at home and she doesn't feel respected by her parents. So, so back at the Harrison's house, I think it's time for Joel to tell his dad that he's ready to move out to his own place to got his own gardening business is what he's telling his dad. He can be like, I've had a great business opportunity with a guy I met out in the park and his dad might be a little bit like, oh, that's kind of random but I think his dad you know thinks of his son in a really good light and he thinks that his son is gonna be an amazing man and the mom just sees him as an angel and you know I, I, I think the parents really are a little bit naive about what their son is capable of so let's get him to move out oh the mom's like I'm so glad you're at home Esther you're my favorite baby <laughs> Uh, so maybe we'll get him to give his mom a goodbye hug. I don't know if they... Oh, discuss uncomfortable mood. Oh, maybe he's feeling a little bit uncomfortable about moving. I mean, I guess it is pretty scary moving into your house for the first time. There we go. There's a nice hug with his mom. She's like, now make sure you come home for Sunday roast. <sighs> Call whenever you need. And make sure that there is a fire extinguisher and a blanket. And she's probably getting upset now, so she's walked away. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, your mother. Son, you're gonna love living alone. Anyway, Allison started gardening herself. She's probably gone out to the garden and being like, well, if I start learning how to garden, maybe I have an excuse to go see my son. I was actually thinking that maybe he can move in uh, with Taylor, uh, with the Taylor family. We did meet the Taylor family. 
Okay, so this is his new house that he's moving into. Of course, his parents are financially supporting him, but I mean, it's right on the beach. How incredible is that? I mean, that's pretty much a dream for anyone, I think. <laughs> Uh, but I think we may have an issue here because there seems to be only one bedroom upstairs. So we may need to do a little bit of rearranging. I mean, it looks like a good first share house. There's not really anything here, just the basics. Um, there is a cat. What is the cat's name? Who is this? Buttercup. Buttercup. They already have a good relationship, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, look, we can probably do a little bit of renovating to this house to make it fit for two, uh, that won't be a problem. Oh, actually, will it? Hold on, let me just think for a second. That's okay, we can put a door over here. I mean, it's definitely squishy, it's a bit tight, but we'll make it work. Okay, so we'll go like that, we'll put this over here so both guys can live here, and who knows, they might become really close friends. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll just go like that. Okay, and let's put a door in here. Oh my gosh, he might only fit a single bed in there. I think it'll be okay though. Let's maybe get some of these old school doors. Oh, I forgot we're on a budget, but I feel like his mummy and daddy will, will cover the extra costs for him. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, and let's put a bed in here. Uh, I'm thinking that we go with, I mean, something nice. We could go with the same as his old bed. I think it was this one, but it's kind of a gross color and I feel like he would enjoy for once getting to pick his furniture. And he doesn't need much to start off with. I don't think he would be too fussed if he's just got like some random suitcases next to his bed and just the bare minimal stuff that he needs. Uh, maybe he can have a little bit more than a candelabra. <laughs> let's put that in here. And maybe he might want to romance a little bit. So let's put some romantic decor next to the bedroom. And I feel like there's no lights in here. So let's get some lights in. I wonder if this house was actually designed so it was easy to renovate because that kind of worked perfectly, to be honest. Uh, and of course we need to put a door in over this side. Excellent, so now he can claim his bed and then we can make a little garden out the back so he can have some good stuff in there and we'll claim that bed for him. Excellent, and does his roomie have a job? Oh God, they're both technically jobless. So I think they'll be working together. Although let's just get to know him. What is his personality? His family oriented, a bro, alluring, and a cat lover. So he actually seems like a decent guy. And do keep in mind that he has quite a strong friendship with Crystal. So maybe Crystal got Joel onto him and was like, hey, there's this really cool guy that I met uh, who needed a roommate and he lives right on the beach or something like that. So yay, Joel's got a new house. Crystal has piercings and has run away from home. My gosh, the drama continues. So do let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Let's Play. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.